Uh, Mullen Automotive to ticker MULN, and it's getting absolutely crushed today, down 19.5%. Trading volume is crazy, though. Again, the most heavily traded stock um, on the entire market today, and we've kind of been seeing that type of price action from Mullen for, I would say, like the last two months or so. It's literally insane trading volume and again i wanted to make this video more specifically to talk about mullen and like how like i think i'm staying away from it now like i had made previous videos having like some bullish sentiment towards mullen but i just think now i'm going to be staying away from mullen trying to get out of my current position I, my bag has always been a small like speculative type play bag here um and my hope for mullen was always to so it could catch that retail trading um hype and buzz you know to possibly fly up in price um but yeah i'm definitely looking to completely stay away from mullen i think you know no matter what the bulls will say about mullen as far as it being a potentially to you know have some sort of retail trading hype. I'm personally staying away. Um, just wanted to make this video as I feel like I do owe it to anyone that's watched the previous Mullen video. Um, and just to be transparent of what how I'm currently feeling about, about Mullen right now. So let's just get into this. Um, again, like I said, Mullen sitting at 11 cents now at the time of this video is down 19%. The most heavily traded stock on the market today, um, without question, 400 million trades, according to Finviz. Um, but let's just take a look at a few tweets here. You can see here, this is one of the retail traders investors um you know push mullen higher and do things xyz and so on and so forth to help the retail investors because that is really what gave mullen automotive life to begin with um but he's not really doing that this is someone uh Dwayne at boys padre on twitter he he sent a screenshot he sent an email to david mickery here uh, essentially saying david where's the new david mickery you promised me the one that was going to um, come out swinging for retail investors the one that said he didn't care about the lawyer said anymore x y and z so, you know, people are kind of mad at David Mickery here. There's also this tweet as well um, that I don't, I, this is no truth to it at all, but it just goes to show you the bears and how they kind of feel about Mullen at this point. Mullen, here's the question. Why buy overpriced vehicles from Mullen? Uh, when you can simply order them from a real manufacturer or Alibaba, almost the entire inventory is there. This is essentially a non-profitable dropshipping company. The Dragonfly belongs to Kiantu. Um, so it's definitely interesting. It's definitely kind of negative bearish sentiment overall towards, towards Mullen, especially on a day like today when it's just absolutely getting crushed in the market. Um, but the big news also here is that it, the Russell 2000 index um, did remove Mullen Automotive. So you can see your Mullen was removed from the index because it failed to achieve a price of at least $1 on FTSE's Russell's rank day, uh, which occurred on April 28th. So an existing member could also be considered for eligibility if its average trading average daily close price was above $1 um for the past 30 days but that didn't happen either so unfortunately mullins failed to satisfy either requirement and the reconstitution of the mullin 2000 took place on june 23rd which means at the time of this video mullin has already been removed from there um it is um continues to decline you can see here's a quote from david mickery we are in the best financial position in our company's history we remain uh, remain fully committed and highly focused on producing selling and delivering our vehicles to our customers at the end of 2023 in addition mullin pointed out that its real estate assets are encumbered of free claims except for a 7.3 million in outstanding debt so this is interesting because i think i had made a, even a video talking about this but like there was promises i don't want to say promises but there was you know words that were said about mullen delivering vehicles by quarter two even maybe late quarter one of 2023 now here we are well into quarter number what is this quarter number three of the year and or quarter, quarter number two sorry and we've yet to kind of see what is happening here? We're almost at the end of quarter uh, two, actually, and we've yet to kind of see any sort of deliveries be even in the start and process of being made. So it's going to definitely be interesting. You can see your dilution also seems to be the major issue behind Mullen's decline and doesn't seem to be over yet. On June 26th, the EV company announced a resale of up to 2.3 billion shares. Shares of common stock outstanding uh, as of June 22nd totaled 643 million, which means the completion of the resale in a whole would spike shares outstanding even further. So again, you guys, super, super tough time for Mullen. I'm staying away from Mullen stock at this time. Um, I'm trying to get Mullen. Um, I'll have to check, but I believe it's probably like somewhere around 22 cents in my opinion, which is which is super tough compared to like kind of where um, Mullen is, you know, over the last six months, it's been super, super tough times for Mullen. But nonetheless, let me know in the comments below what you guys feel about Mullen. It's always been a speculative play, uh, 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 you know, lottery type play. Drop a like on this video, hit the subscribe, subscribe button. And as always, have a great day.